Hey, hang on a second, I've, I've created a new thing just because I don't believe what I just saw. Stay here. We're fine. What? That was. What was with that? Ah, oh, that was. That was a dull scene. That was bollocks. There. there. What you just saw was an instant replay of one of my streams there, using the instant replay script that's built into OBS. And to be able to use that, we're gonna have to set up the stream replay buffer. So this video here is gonna show you how to set up the replay buffer as well as the instant replay script. It's a great way to be able to enhance your stream and be able to create short form content on Twitter or social medias like Instagram and such. So the first thing we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to actually activate the replay buffer. To do that, we're gonna have to go to file, then we're gonna go to settings, and we wanna go to output. Now, depending on which mode you use to actually record your streams, you're going to have to first off be able to record your streams. If we're going with simple, most important thing is selecting your recording path. I recommend for your instant replays, you want to choose a hard drive that is a solid state drive. If you use a standard mechanical drive, you're gonna run into delays and it won't immediately play when you transition to your scenes. So for example here, I have my J drive here, it's an SSD, and what we want to do here, we want to click on the checkbox here saying enable replay buffer, and we want to assign it a time. This is a maximum time, this is what we're going to be using. I usually use around 30 seconds, but it could range from 20 seconds, 10 seconds, all the way up to as far as you want to go. Obviously for instant replays, I usually say 30 seconds is about the best you can do. To set it up in advanced mode, you want to go to advanced. Want to go to the recording tab once again make sure that your recording path is set up to the folder that you want to save your replay files to and then you want to go to the replay buffer tab click on enable replay buffer and set up the time you can click on apply and you'll notice down in the controls there'll be a start replay buffer the next thing we want to do we want to go to general and we want to click this little option here in the output section saying automatically start replay buffer when streaming. Great thing about this, anytime you're starting your stream and you're streaming, you don't have to worry about creating any sort of macro or hotkey or starting and start stopping the replay buffer. It'll already be there. Speaking of hotkeys, we're gonna jump on over to our hotkeys section here. Now I already have this actually set up with some hotkeys, but as an example here, so we're going to do set up the save replay buffer for now. So to actually quickly set up, we can actually throw this away here. And then we can recreate it. So we're going to do control shift and S. <laughs> let's actually, let's, let's try that again. Control shift and S. And then we can save it. And just for the sake of argument here, we're just going to get rid of this hotkey here for instant replay. And now finally, the last thing you want to do here, we can actually simply start our replay buffer and you want to wait for the entire duration. So for example, if you only have a 20 second clip, wait the full 20 seconds, then you can save your replay buffer using the hotkey or using the arrow button here, which allows you to save the replay. We're just going to skip ahead here. I already have a sample replay file here. So what we're going to do, we're actually just going to Keep this, you know, we'll keep the replay buffer going. And we're now going to move on to our next section, which is installing and setting up the instant replay function. So, first thing we want to do, we need to create an instant replay source. So, we're going to create a source here. We have a scene already set up, which, I'll, which I use to actually show any sort of my instant replays. And we're going to create a media source. And we're going to title this instant replay and we're going to plus OK. Now that replay file that we just saved, we can actually use that. We want to go to local file, press browse, and we drawn jump all the way over to our hard drive. So in this case, for our example here, I just created a folder called OBS and I have a stream recording folder. And as you can see here, we have a few video files here. You'll notice the prefix replay. That's the file you want to use. 
that we can actually select this. This will just be a demonstration video here. So whatever your replay buffer video you create, you want to select that file. Once you've done that, you can press OK. And you'll notice here we have a clip here from Fall Guys and it's playing. So what we can actually do just in the meantime, we can actually simply resize this, make it fit, and we can actually just put it right underneath the graphic as well here. And you notice as it plays out, we can actually see the moment here. But what we want to do next here is actually integrate the script itself for instant replays. So if you go over to tools, you click on scripts, you'll bring up a bunch of loaded scripts here. So I already have the instant replay script loaded. So what I actually do here, let's actually get rid of it. And if we click on the plus sign here, we'll actually be brought over to a default folder in OBS, which will show some of the default scripts we actually have available to us. And the one we want to use is the instant replay script. We can actually double click that and we can select this. What the script actually does, it creates another hotkey function in the OBS settings. And it's also looking for the media source in which it's not only going to save a replay, but also assign the media source file to the media source set it, set it at. So in this case, for example, we're going to set it up with the instant replay source, the one that just played. And as you notice, we do have the replay buffer still going. So what we want to do now, we want to go over to settings. And we can go over to our hotkeys. And then you'll notice here we have a new key here. We have the instant replay key and we want to assign it a hotkey. So for our case here, we're going to set it up with ignore that for a moment here. We're actually going to set it up with uh, control shift and Z. We want to click on apply. And if we press control shift and Z one more time. You'll notice we have a very meta uh, thing going on here. That's because it's actually playing this very scene here that we have for our desktop capture. So we know that it's actually working here. So now that you have the replay buffer and the instant replay script all loaded up, now you need a way to quickly be able to not only save an instant replay, but also be able to switch over to your instant replay scene. And the fastest way I've learned how to do it is by using macros. Now there's a couple ways I actually can do this. One solution is I recommend the Elgato Stream Deck. It's an extremely useful tool allowing you to create hotkeys and macros. So we're going to go over that and then we're going to go over with another piece of software known as the Logitech G Hub. But for the Elgato Stream Deck here, I actually created four different buttons. One is our save replay buffer, which is just simply our save replay. So if it's not really a moment I want to make as an instant replay, but I still want to save that 30 second clip, I'll have a dedicated button for that. Now, if I want to save an instant replay and then maybe be able to watch it later, we have here the simple save it, uh, save the instant replay button. So that's just a simple hotkey. We assigned it as control shift Z and that's what we set it here in the Elgato stream deck. But one of the great things about both those softwares I'll go into, both the Elgato Stream Deck and G-Hub, is that you can create multi-actions. Now the multi-actions I recommend here creating is a watch instant replay and what I like to call save and watch instant replay. So if we go into our multi-actions here, we've created a simple four action setup here. Our first action here, we're gonna mute our desktop audio. All it simply does here is just mute our audio. Then it'll instantly switch over to our instant replay scene. So it'll move, say, if I'm playing a game, I get a cool moment, and then I want to be able to show that off. Say, if I finish that match to fall, guys, I'm going to watch it and show our viewers again. We can quickly do that. Then I put in a 30 second to delay, so that's 30,000 milliseconds. And then after that 30,000 milliseconds, which is how long our clips are, we actually can then reactivate the desktop audio. And then I can actually switch over to uh, the scenes manually if I choose, or if you want, you know what kind of scene you want to jump back to with this uh, instant replay macro, you can actually assign that here just by simply adding an additional scene and setting it there. And then 
the save and watch instant replay. It's very similar to the watch instant replay. The only additional step at the start of it, we actually set it up with the save instant replay feature. And then we have it follow the same steps. So it'll deactivate our desktop audio. It'll switch over to our instant replay scene. It's gonna wait 30,000 seconds, or not 30,000 seconds, 30 seconds. And then it will jump over uh, and unmute the desktop audio again. And once again, if you want to just have it jump over, say, to your game stream again or your desktop stream, you can actually assign that here as well. But with that done, why don't we move over to the Logitech G Hub and I'll show you how to set up these four macros as well. So here we have our Logitech G Hub here, and I currently am using a Logitech G910 as my macro pad. This is actually what I primarily use in order to set up all of my scenes. So I primarily use the macros for the replay buffer, save instant replay, um, all on the Elgato Stream Deck. And then I use my Logitech keypad here and all the macros to switch between all of the scenes I use. But for the sake of instant replay here, we've actually created additional macros here. Now, the great thing about Logitech G Hub, it actually has a built in action software. So it actually has an integration with OBS and you can create different actions. So here's a couple of them I see here. I have an intro scene. I can have simply switch over to my PC game scene. I can actually mute my microphone, mute the desktop audio. And of course here, if you notice here, we created a just a simple mute desktop, unmute desktop and instant replay. So if we go over to our macros, and I've actually created a few here. These are the four macros that we actually created using the Elgato Stream Deck software, the same process here. So we can actually go take a look here. And the great thing about creating a macro here, so for example, let's actually just simply delete this. So save instant replay, it's a nice simple hotkey. We can actually click on the plus sign, and we can just simply ask it to record our keystrokes. So our keystrokes here, Control Shift and Z, click on stop recording, and then we can click on save, and there's your safe instant replay. And we can do the same thing with the save and watch instant replay, and watch instant replay. So if we go with the watch instant replay, I set it up the very same way. I set up a couple OBS actions. The first OBS action is a mute desktop. Then it's gonna go over to the instant replay scene. Then it's going to wait 30 seconds and then it'll unmute the desktop audio. And of course, once again, if I want to switch over to a different scene, I can just simply add an additional action, click on OBS. And let's just say I want to move over to my PC game scene here. So pretty much after 30 seconds, it'll just unmute the desktop audio. And then I'm back to where I'm playing again. I can just click on save. And that's it. With a few small steps, you can create an amazing instant replay scene and be able to save any sort of amazing moment that you have on stream, be able to show it to your viewers on stream, and be able to take those videos and turn them into transformative content on Twitter, Instagram, or any other social media. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video here on how to set up Instant Replay and Replay Buffer. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or ask me over on Twitter or my Discord. And if you're interested in watching me on Twitch, links are also down below in the channel description. And until then, take care. Again, the horse are griefing everyone. <laughs> We've got two bouncers. <laughs> this is horrible. Call them the bouncer. Another one gone. Oh, come on. <laughs>